Hey guys, and welcome back to That LP Show. The name of the game is Metroid Prime 2 Echoes for the Wii. We're continuing on with our quest to find the nine Sky Temple keys. We already have two of them. We got seven more to go. The next one is out uh, by the at the Hive entrance, which is Dark Aether's counterpart to the Sanctuary entrance. And we got some night barbs floating around uh, nullified beacon so we're just gonna charge that up real quick and they're gonna end up just accidentally all flying into it except for that one come on oh we got a stubborn one there we go and once again if you hear voices and noise in the background uh, bear in mind that I am recording this on Sunday evening uh, and it is currently uh, the well, ah, oh, crap, 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 crap. I'm losing my train of thought and not scanning stuff. Scan, 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 scan! Thank you. Ing Larva Swarm, large pack of hunting infants. Swarm is largely harmless. Infants will avoid bright light when possible. Ing Larvae travel in swarms for protection. They are weak with no real defenses or attacks. The few that make it to adulthood are quite cunning and vicious. Okay, well, we can't let that happen, so let's kill them all. And unlike normal swarm-type enemies, these guys can actually give you quite a bit of a problem because they start, like, diving and jumping at you, so they can do some damage. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, currently, as I'm recording this... The season finale of Game of Thrones is airing, so my wife and mother-in-law are in the next room watching it, and, uh, yeah, there might be noise and screaming coming from the other, coming through the wall that my microphone might pick up. Anyways, you can see I screw attacked across the chasm there. Uh, you do want to make sure you're at the edges right here because, as you can see, these parts are protruding out a little more. Just gives you a little bit more of a chance to actually successfully screw attack along the way. So we have a beam of light right here. Let's go into it. Now that we have the light suit, we can actually use these to teleport to different areas. And we're not far away, just teleported us directly above from where we are. And there's nothing here. However, whoa, I'm right on the edge. However, what we want to do is we want to screw attack all the way back across here. There we go. It doesn't seem to be anything here either, but as you can already guess, we turn on our dark visor, we get another flying in cache. Just two charge shots ought to be enough for our third Sky Temple key. Okay, and from here, well, I guess we could screw attack all the way across and use the teleporter again, but I'm just going to risk taking some damage by jumping down here. Maybe I'll go into morph ball mode. There we go. That kind of helped me avoid take too, taking too much damage. And now we want to head all the way back to the Hive Reactor. Don't worry, those uh, Ing larvae haven't respawned, so we don't have to worry about them. However, all these Night Barbs did respawn, so let's just do that. There we go. Yeah, the, the safe zone expands into their path, so there's no need to, like, use an annihilator beam on it to attract them. All right, and as we head into here, this Dark Ing Smasher comes to life, and we have to deal with him. Well, I guess we don't have to, but screw it. I have time. We are going to have to deal with those little guys right there. Okay, light beam, light beam, light beam. Here we go. Let's see if we can take this guy out fast. You know, it's... Oh, there we go. All right, let's take down his barrier real quick. Come on, come on. And you know what? I might as well just use the Dark Burst. Uh, that'll at least deal with the other enemies. Deal some damage to him. But other than that, it's mostly just to deal with surrounding enemies. I don't think we got them all, though. There we go. Well, he's dead and out. Do we have any more of those little guys? No? Okay, looks like we're in the clear. And from here, I want to head back across the Unseen Way and back into the Culling Chamber. We're pretty much returning to Light Aether from here.
Come on, open up. Open up. Open up. Can I jump across? Yes, I can. Okay, and from here, I want to head back to the main reactor. Back to the entrance. Well, not completely to the entrance, but to the reactor. The, the Light Aether version of the room where we just fought that dark, uh, that, that dark Ink Smasher. Okay, once again through the mini gyro chamber. And we're probably going to get hit by every single one of them. And that's two. Oh, well, I guess I wasn't quite in his blast radius right there. It'll probably get me on the way back because we are coming back through here. Let's ignore these res bits for right now. There's really only one thing that I want in this place. And to get that, I want to head over to the map station. And as you can see in here, there's another beam of light that we're going to use to teleport to a different room. And as you can see, there's a missile expansion here, and that's pretty much all we came here for. Alright, so from here, I'm just going to go back into the beam of light. Like, if there's any other place I can go. And back to where we came from. We're going to head through the Hall of Combat Mastery again. However, we're not returning to the Dark Aether quite yet. In fact, can I... Hmm, let me think. Let me think. Are we returning to Dark Aether at any point in this episode? Not 100% sure. Oh, don't use your virus thing on me. I can't even remember. Am I going to return to Dark Aether any time in this episode? I think so. I think at least once. Oh, yeah, yeah. Actually... If uh, my calculations are correct, we'll actually be ending this episode in Dark Aether. Uh, we're not going to get any more Sky Temple keys for right now. I pretty much got my Sky Temple key for the episode. They're pretty far spread out. Uh, just because of the end game fetch quest doesn't mean we're almost done with this LP. However, I promise it will be a little worthwhile uh, skipping a save point or two because I think we're getting another beam weapon combo. Uh, before we end this episode. So, eh, there will be something worth it. Something a little more eventful than one Sky Temple key 30 seconds into the video or however long it took me to get that. But from here, I want to skip out on the portal. I want to head back through this door. Let's get our super missile ready. We got another quad to deal with. Come on, do your spin attack. Do it. Do it. Do it. You're a prick. Come on. Spin. 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 Spinny spin. Okay, yeah, of course you spin when I'm off camera. Fuck you, penis breath. Come on. Spin. Thank you. Boom. There we go. You're not going to drop anything for me, are you? Ah. Okay, might as well shoot these crates, get some dark beam ammo. We're going to get quite a bit, or we're going to need quite a bit. I've got a power bomb. I guess I could have used that. All right, so we're heading through this elevator and back to Aegon Waste. Okay, let's head through here. Oh, oh I knew that pill bug was gonna hit me. Ah crap. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna head through here now and back to a very, very familiar area. If you look down there, yeah, it's our uh, it was the place where we first fought Dark Samus. Anyway, let's scan dead guy right here. 
this is actually this is the testament of be still be still my beating heart okay let's see what he has to say i can go no further here in this reactor i join my fallen mate jay still in final rest though i die with honor a shame falls on my house until the key i seek reaches its destination may my brothers find my burden that the way to the sky temple will be opened at last Okay, so his fallen mate. I wonder if he meant his friend or his actual mate, like the person he was mating with. They had a similar name. Uh, maybe, she, you know, Jay took on the still part after marrying B still. I don't know how it works. I don't even know if Luminoth have... Uh, actually, yeah, Luminoth do have genders. Uh, there are a few Luminoth that are referred to as, uh, as she. So I, I don't know if we've encountered anything like that yet, but uh, we will if you pay attention. Okay, so as you can see, I'm uh, getting way sidetracked with my commentary. I was using my spider ball and boost abilities to actually bounce uh, between those pistons right there. Just wait until they're lined up and make sure you don't fall because you can see pulls a phase on right there. Just blow up in this glass with a power, with, not with a power bomb, but with a morph ball bomb to get a missile expansion. And then we can just fall down here. And from here, we want to... Where, where is it? Where is it? Where the hell is it? Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. The fire was blocking it. Yeah, we want to take this elevator back up here. And it'll turn around. There we go. We want to go past that door. Past the dark door. And we want to take this door. Open. 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 There we go. Thank you. And get your missiles ready, because we have a few turrets that are going to start firing at us. There we go. Let's pull in that ammo and energy. Line ourselves up right here, I think. Yep. Okay, let's start using our boost ball. Get ourselves up here into this tunnel. And let's scan this computer. Dr sand drain control system online energize the nearby control slot with a morph ball bomb to begin the sand draining procedure okay so scanning that charges this thing up so we can use it and that drains the sand right outside revealing a missile expansion oh we just go through this tunnel and retrieve it oh come on what do I keep getting snagged on what do I keep getting snagged on Crap, it's not very s smooth for a tunnel. Let's just go ahead and stay in morph ball mode for right now while we grab that. And then start using our boost ball because we want to get right up here. There we go. And we're going to skip that save point for right now. Don't want the episode too long, but don't want it too short either. And after we go through this butthole-looking tunnel... Ah, remember how we disabled these things earlier? Yeah, that this is why. Now we can just go straight through with no problems. Don't have to worry about any lasers or anything. And, oh, familiar sound. Familiar sound. Let's get this thing ready because we are actually going against some actual Metroids. Or, at the very least, Talon Metroids. Um, not as strong as the ones on Zebus, but still... Still, actually not even as strong as the their possessed versions. I just think it's funny to, that the path that I took, I ran into um, possessed Metroids before I ran into the real deal. Okay, so with all of those guys taken out, uh, yeah, let's come over here. I want to scan this thing because all those things are deactivated again, and we need to get up there. There we go. And they end up back in the same position that we last left them. So, yeah, uh, there's really only a few places where we fight regular Talon Metroids. And, uh, yeah, for a Metroid game, we really don't fight too many of them. And by the time we do get to them, I mean, we, we have the weapon that we need to take them out easily. And I'm having a really hard time screwing atta screw attacking over there. All right, let's try this again because it's got a real low ceiling, so it's hard to time. Come on, let's do this. Ah, and now it didn't even work. This is going to take a while, isn't it? Come on, get up there. Oh, I hate this so much. Come on. Let's do this again. And a one, two, three. No! Ah! How do they expect you to do that with such a low ceiling? 
Come on. Jump, jump, screw attack. No, why didn't you work? Ah. Okay, we're going to be here all day, aren't we? So full of fail. Come on. Jump, jump, and screw attack. Ah, I hit the ceiling again. This is going to take so long. Let's just do this. Come on, come on. Don't make me edit this video. I went through this whole thing without editing, and yes, okay. God, that is so hard. There must be an easier way. That is friggin' ridiculous. Anyway, after all that trouble, we get a missile expansion, and here, here we go. I love this part. I love this part. 75% of all pickups acquired. Special ending unlocked. Complete the game to view this ending. Complete the game to view the ending. Complete the game to view the ending. What a concept. Really? Only from Nintendo people. Only they would be so condescending to say something like, beat the game to view the ending. Even though with some of their newer games, you don't really have to beat the game on your own to view the ending. You can just die repeatedly and let Luigi do it for you. God, I hate that. Well, I guess... It's got to be so, in some way fun for everybody. I guess if you want to watch Luigi play the game for you, then, you know, each to their own. I'd rather play it myself. Okay, let's get our dark beam ready. These guys are finally going to bust out. And this is the only other room besides the room we were just in in which you actually fight regular Metroids. No other two, no other rooms, none at all, throughout the entire game, besides these two rooms, will you ever, ever, ever fight an ordinary Metroid. I think there's one other room we're going to run into later where you fight uh, dark Metroids, but uh, yeah, as far as the regular ones, that is it. Anyway, we, have, so we use the dark beam on that door that you just saw there. We come in here, get another missile expansion. It's uh, pretty easy to access, and why am I getting rid of the dark beam? Okay, uh, these guys are st gonna start busting out now, and I'm gonna ignore them for right now. I'm just gonna come through here through this Resident Evil style laser barrier. Oh god, oh god, okay, um, there we go, let's take these guys out. And, you got anything for me? There we go. So, we're gonna come over to this door. Then we're gonna turn around. This is weird, I, I don't know how this works. Just, uh, this is a quick way to do it. Uh, I guess we triggered something by going all the way over to that room. Because, as you can see, there's something new here for us to scan. And this is the Metroid Cocoon, and after scanning it, as you can see, we have 100% of our research data, so that's all done. Metroid Cocoon, storage chamber for young Talon Metroids. Biomass to support Talon Metroid infants. Lacks armor or shielding. The space pirates transport young Talon Metroids in an organic cocoon, quote unquote, designed to sustain the small creatures. Each cocoon can support numerous infants for several cycles. The creatures are normally content to remain in the cocoon, but will emerge when they detect the presence of Phazon. Okay, so let's uh, shoot one real quick until they start popping out. There we go. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you guys? There you go. See you off in the distance. There they go. They're so cute. Come on, let's scan it. Let's scan it. And this is an infant Talon Metroid, genetically engineered energy parasite. Ramming attacks will do minor damage. Exposure to Phazon will mutate them into a deadly version. The Space Pirates use infant Talon Metroids as a portable energy source. Small in size, they are easy to transport in large quantities. They are docile, efficient organic batteries until they are exposed to Phazon. At that point, they grow rapidly and acquire their full array of powers. So yeah, pretty weak, and we can just take them out with a couple of charge shots. There you go, they go pop, but let's just wait, let's just wait. Okay, there, there's one over there in the distance. One of them will do it, one of them will do it. Come on. Are any of you gonna... Come on, let's, uh... Arrah! There we go. Let's see. One of them should do it. Come on. Over here. Over here. Over here. Come on. You gonna do it? Where are you? Come on. I just wanted to show this off. There. Are you gonna... Are you gonna go for the phase on? Are you gonna go for the phase on? No, you're, you're not, are you? Oh, get out of here. You bother me, kid. 
There we go. That one just went after the phase on, and as you see, it turned into a uh, regular Metroid, which is now going to attack us. So, yeah, classic maneuver. If they latch on to you, just go into Morph Ball mode and uh, use a Morph Ball bomb, and that'll get them off. Okay, so that's pretty much all we wanted to do in that room. We're done with that room, and we're pretty much done with regular Metroids. And I think some pirate grenadiers are going to spawn in here, but we're just going to ignore them and take this portal to Dark Aether. Okay, let's just ignore those guys. Get our light beam ready. We want to come through this door. Oh, come on, come on. There we go. And you know what? I'm being a little paranoid, but I, I do want plenty of dark ammo if I can get it. There we go. Any more in here? Any more wiggly things? No? Okay. Come on, open up. And in here, we're just going to dive right down into the purple drink, which doesn't affect us anymore because we have the light suit. And we're going to come down here for a very easily accessible power bomb expansion. Easily accessible, but also pretty easy to miss if you're not looking around enough. Okay, so from here, okay, we got some more of those guys squirting at us. Let's, uh, come on, let's find our way up. There we go. Eh, come on, can I get some more of this stuff? More dark beam ammo. Gonna need plenty of it. There we go. And we want to come through here. And I think we have some Lumites floating. Yeah, we got some Lumites floating around in here. I'm just going to try to ignore them to the best of my abilities. And in here. Oh, yes. There we go. We have more Dark Talon Metroids. I'm not counting these as regular Metroids. They're possessed. Actually, you know what? Let's, uh, let's let them hang around for a little while because there's something I want to demonstrate. Oh, you guys stay away from me. And let's screw attack over to this platform right here. Equip our Annihilator Beam. Equip our Annihilator Beam. Oh, screw you. Get out of my way. And we get another beam combo. This one is actually for the Annihilator Beam. Yeah, our strongest main beam. We don't even have to wait until... Uh, we don't even have to wait to get its beam combo for last. Kind of an awkward order. I know I'm getting these uh, different power-ups, you know, in the end game, but it's not like in um, Metroid Prime 1. These beam combos don't exactly come in entirely useful. I mean, it's easy enough to just get through the game and manage without them. Anyway, uh, since this is the Annihilator Beams combo... Uh, it uses five missiles and 30 of each of the other ones. So let's see what this thing does to the enemy anyway. Boom! Okay, let's see that again. Let's get a closer look. Boom! There we go. We're killing these guys with sound. And it causes just this massive shockwave. Looks like it cracks the screen. But it has a pretty widespread range of attack. As you can see, there were quite a few Dark Talon Metroids in here. But with just... Uh, a few shots we took out several of them so let's move on through here see I told you I'd get a, a new weapon or a new uh, beam combo whoa careful let's not hit the phase on but now that we've gotten that sky temple key and that beam combo we're gonna come through this door hit up this save point and continue on trying to find six more sky temple keys but that's going to have to wait until next time and until next time Thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good.